The Jordan 3 Cool Gray. Wait, my bad. The Jordan 4 Cool Gray. No. The Jordan 9 Cool Gray. No, this the one. The Jordan 11 Cool Gray. Where, where is it? Here it is. The Jordan 6 Cool Gray. Today guys, we are reviewing the upcoming Jordan 6 Cool Gray set to release on February 26, 2023 at a retail price point of $200. And this is going to be the last shoe of February as, as far as Jordan brand goes. And these will be available over at soulplayatl.com. First come, first serve online at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And guys, I want y'all to know moving forward, every single Jordan that I review that is coming from Soul Play will be available for you guys to now purchase online. I've made sure of it that moving forward, every product that you see, you guys will now have the availability of copying from soulplayatl.com, an authorized retail store in Atlanta, specifically Decatur, Georgia and Lawrenceville, Georgia. You can also go in store and cop or just like I said, cop online and we ship pretty much, I believe we ship worldwide. So add Soul Play to your list of other stores out there compared to your typical Foot Lockers, Champs, Finish Lines, Sneakers Launch, you know, any other social status, I'm on my all those stores. Soul Play gets pretty much every tier zero shoe out there. So stay tuned because more is coming down the pipeline and more options available to you guys coming from their website. But the Jordan 6 as you guys can see, Cool Gray is another iteration of the Cool Gray colorway that has been made famous from Jordan brand for quite some time. One of the most iconic and my favorite, of course, the Jordan 11 Cool Gray actually was worn by Jordan brand himself. I think it was the only Jordan that was worn by Jordan through his actual NBA career, which these were worn when he was playing for the Wizards. This one just being another iteration of that. And as you can see, the actual colors match up fairly well. The material used on the shoe is a very nice tumbled, old Rumpelstiltskin nut sack like material. I can definitely say it has somewhat of a premium feeling to it. And when it comes to the sixes, they always usually tend to have pretty good leather or pleather, which, whichever one it is, I'm not gonna sit here and argue. This one in particular is a size nine and you know, sixes seem to pretty much fit pretty true to size. And I like to wear mine usually an eight and a half, but I went with the nine for this video. And as you can see, and when looking at it, they played a lot very well to the cool gray 11 look on this six. The white leather, however, is not really used at all in a actual Jordan 11, more so as though on the midsole, as you can see in the lacing. And then you have the cool gray, which features this new buck material, which I would say for the most part, it's close, but it's not as nice as the 11 nor the three. It's more so in line, I would say, almost with the four as far as how the texture and actual feel is. You got the lace lock, which is also featured in Cool Gray, the Jordan 6 on the tongue, the Jordan, you know, the Jordan 6 tongue, featuring that rubber, rubberized Cool Gray. You have the, of course, the Jordan logo right there, Jumpman logo in white. And this is, I would say, more of like a metallic type of look, as you can see going on, on that actual part of the tongue. These don't come with a second pair of laces, unfortunately. I feel like they should have probably came with some additional pair out there, but you know, to each its own. The box that it comes in, as you can see, typical, you know, Jordan 6 box, but it is decked out in that cool gray color with the white Jumpman. And here is the actual label itself. The label states, white slash medium gray, cool gray, Jordan 6 retro size men, nine, and it has the women's size as well on there. On the inside of the box is pretty basic, man. You know, just your typical splatter you know, on the box. I don't even know why they put the splatter on the six now in reality. I mean, I'm trying to think, cause they, I mean, they've done this for quite some time, but I'm trying to think what shoe from the six has splatter. The four is the real splatter, the white cement type of splatter print. The five, which also features the same type of box, but the fives don't have really cement or splatter print either. That's something that I just kind of now just realized. They're kind of playing on that white cement look on the four and put it on a five, six box. But going back to the shoe, of course, then however you have that bottom all whited out with the you know, baby blue tint, that cool tint, the blue tint, which is also featured as well as on that 11. So, you know, little subtle Easter egg looks, but you know, of course, all sixes do have the, you know, gum bottom or blue tinted bottom. So it's not like something out of the ordinary, but it does play along with the cool gray look. It looks like a cool gray six, you know? 
it is what it is. On the back, you have the Air. It's in a cool gray, you know, color. A-I-R, Air with the Jumpman. On the inside, gray with the white Jumpman as well. And of course, the Jordan 6 is modeled after Jordan's car. Specifically, Jordan's Porsche. One of my favorite cars out there. One of my dream cars out there is the Porsche 911. This is also, however, the 6 is a very special shoe to my heart as well as Jordan because it was made in 1991 when I was born, but it was also when Jordan won his first championship. So the 6 definitely started the line of the dynasty for the Bulls and for Jordan and his nostalgic greatest of all time career. With that said, I do think, however, these should do fairly well. I don't know, like sixes are kind of like iffy at times, but I think these will sell out more than they will sit. I don't see these sitting for a very long time. The colorway itself, very nice, white and cool gray, very neutral, but sometimes you just don't know, bro, when it comes to this. However, right now, as we speak, these are currently going for below retail over on StockX. Now going below retail at $198, but once you pay for all the fees and everything that comes along with it, you'll be probably paying around the $200. $120, 210 220 at their all fees and shipping. So they're going for right about the retail price point overall. We'll just have to wait and see how they do afterwards. So for the most part, these should be fairly, I guess, accessible and available for people out there, but we'll just have to wait and see as more. But I promise you, go to soulplayatl.com at 10 a.m. on Saturday, and you should be able to grab yourself a pair before everybody else finds out that Soul Play is now selling every single release on their website. Tune in. But check out the links down below in the description to my secondary channel, Too Wild for TV, my third channel, The Too Wild Podcast, my Twitch, Tony D Too Wild, and also go check out soulplayatl.com as that site is about to be revamped and much, much more. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm gonna end you guys off with the on-foot review. I'm out. Peace. Mm -hmm.